Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the ninth uh, lecture of the series Technical Writing and Presentation Skills. And in this lecture, <coughs> I will convey something on the structuring of presentation. My name is Lukman Shah. I will start by this lecture with the quotation, the famous quotation, if you fail to prepare, uh, you are prepared to fail. And this is the case in this presentation, definitely the preparedness, the practice and all other stages are very important in a presentation. And presentation is the killer skill we take into the real world. It is almost an unfair advantage. Almost all the experts of the world are of the high opinion, are, high, are talking in the high words uh, and praising this uh, presentation skill. So the steps in presentation uh, are as shown. The first is plan, second is prepare, third is practice, and fourth is present. So starting with the planning. Planning is the first stage in structuring a presentation. And this planning is start with the questions. The first question is who is your audience? It is very important that who is your audience to whom you are meant to be over there to present. And why they are there? They are for some uh, entertainment, they are for some getting some knowledge, they are or they are for some products promo, they are, or they are for religious sermon and whatever uh, the purpose may be of them. So why they are uh, or they are and uh, this is the very important point because you will have to form and prepare your presentation according to the need of the audience and the why is your what is your goal why you are presenting over there so this is another important you are over there for academic purpose for enjoyment for promotion something <coughs> you are for explaining something so this this is why you are there these are the question and these are normally carried out in the planning stage and then how long will it be the timing of the presentation and the length of the presentation this is also important and where will it take place the place is very important uh, either it is in somewhere in auditorium or it will be an open place it will be a, in any room or it will be in conference hall so you will have to prepare all things according to their situation no the second important point is start your outline before starting the preparation of presentation you should have your own notes your own outlines your own material and remember the formal presentation no powerpoint then we cannot uh, uh, call or term that presentation as presentation powerpoint is very necessary uh, for formal presentation and then film it is like a film with no script if there is no powerpoint then presentation will be definitely not in the formal way and the second point is that ordering your thoughts so you will be in need of a paper and a pencil and write down each and every point each and every details each and everything which uh, comes in your mind and uh, relevant to that and highlight or start the key point and then brainstorming in fact if you have read something in uh, one year or two years ago or if you have uh, knowledge gain knowledge from some uh, magazine or something like that so definitely uh, through brainstorming technique you will be able to recall all those memory and then enlisting it uh, in the rough paper or uh, making points the main points and then you should have a structure have a sound and clear structure remember if you had liked in this slides uh, as shown to you uh, the university logo is on left the humanity and social sciences logo is on right and the heading is at the top and there is a structure there is a clear and sound structure and i have uh, followed this structure throughout the end of this presentation so consistency and regularity and having uh, a regular theme a regular <coughs> structure will always add something to the grace of your presentation and this is very important point creating interest we need to open gaps before we close them this is very important because the audience uh, uh, we should 
make them uh, that you are uh, in need of this why you are there because you know nothing about this so this will be a sort of creating a gap that what you are and what would you would be after this presentation and then our tendency should be to tell people the facts the first though they may realize that they need these facts but first of all we should be very clear and we should be <coughs> Uh, in the, the position to communicate those needs so them that you need these facts and then after them telling them and look at the structure this is normally the structure of any presentation and any presentation will be uh, in this format there will be a starting uh, which we can term as introduction and then there will be the main theme the main structure where we will uh, strengthen or main point are through arguments through reasoning through statistics to figures and through other things and then there will be summary summary and this will be at the end and at the start the introduction we should get the attention of the uh, we should get the attention of the uh, audience if you are unable to get the attention of the audience at the start then we will be unable to get it throughout the presentation and then second the main point in main theme in the main body we should uh, present the content systematically and the, at the end the key message should be reproduced and uh, that should be uh, emphasized at the end and this is normally the presentation structure starting and then uh, strengthening your uh, uh, that argument with reasons with logics and then next point and then again statistics facts and figures so flow of presentation should be like this structure of each slide is uh, should be in symmetrical and systematic way it should be identical a consistent theme always add the the beauty uh, add the beauty to the uh, presentation then rhetorical questioning to linking each slide transition of one slide or from one point to another should be through these rhetoric questions and then flow of thought this must be very systematic there should not be any hindrance or jumping from one thought to another and then order and sequence this is also important because two comes after one and one two three this is a ordering and sequential thing maintaining it will always lead to the beauty and grace and then development develop a uh, thought and then uh, so that people may able to uh, have something with them the second stage is preparation preparation there are uh, three friends of presenters one personal load second visual and third hands out the personal loads are also called write up and write up is for the presenter himself or herself and then visuals a single picture a single visual a single image can convey uh, what we can uh, we will be able to convey it through thousand or hundred sentences or hundred words and then hands out this is a sort of notes which is handed over to the audience and then the evil of powerpoint uh, remember too much uh, too much text too small font to be read clip and slide template spinning whooping and dazzling and an animation there a lot of material on that single slide this is the evil of slides and we should avoid it and what are the rules for the construction of any presentation remember there is a rule of 10 20 and 30 rule one 10 should have at least the presentation should have at least 10 working slides 10 main slides second it should last not more than for 20 minutes minimum 10 minutes and maximum 20 minutes and then it should not contain any phone which is smaller than 30 so the least uh, permissible or acceptable font in presentation is 30 minimum 30 and maximum uh, up to that particular requirement and then information very important jump out the main or the most important information do not put each and everything on the slide keep it with yourself because the presenter is more important when it comes to presentation so be be the focal person be be the center of the presentation if you are 
uh, pasting or if you are presenting each and everything on the slide then people will be over there to read it from the slides and they will be least uh, attentive to you and then only hints give hints on this uh, uh, PPT and the slides do not give details and then drip feed slow by slow drop by drop in chunks the information should be conveyed in chunks and then never use sentences full sentences this is not per permissible and this is definitely uh, we should avoid to use full sentences and then always use bullets like in this slide as shown the bullets are there and then be the center of information if you had all the uh, five points uh, are already shown or already discussed then you will be uh, able to have the central the focal point in that presentation and then color scheme look at this use color and scheme so colors are also a very important factor in this presentation when it comes to the usual presentation like this the use look at the color and then underlining bold face italics so this also creates a sort of special effects which is very necessary and very mandatory for the uh, presentation and then high quality images in fact this is very important support always your main point with the uh, images and the images should be of high quality use consistent theme uh, and look at the this this uh, slide there are uh, many information over here and the information is about that the 15,000 students come to Trinity every year and there are three faculties and this and this and this and this and there are a lot of uh, information over here so what what the author or what this paragraph is trying to convey we can simply convey it in the single sentence with a powerful image so the image there are students in any uni or in any uh, setup institute and the word 51 percent students leave college because of lack of effective support so the things which are expressed or which are uh, communicated through uh, 15 or 20 sentences can be communicated in this simple form this is the beauty of presentation because presentation can condense or encapsulate uh, things which are big for uh, for writing or which are big or uh, larger for uh, writing or for, for presentation <coughs> and this this can further be condensed in this 51 percent and then quitting and there are students then practice this is very important precautions for slides slow to develop when you are tr uh, in transition of slide when doing this transition should be slow when you have done with that so it should be quick to disappear and then the more you are practice the better you feel the more you want to do in fact if you are in good practice then you will enjoy your own presentation and that will be also enjoyable to other people feeling nervous why we feel nervous when we are in front of somebody are in front of group or mob or we are in front of uh, the class or uh, the audience to present to them lack of experience in fact and this experience cannot be gained in a single day because experience come with the practice with the doing things and with uh, this involvement of things and then lack of preparation very important normally we are not prepared to the occasion so definitely we feel nervous when the occasion arises and we are over there and then lack of enthusiasm passion self-interest very important if you are not interested in any activities then that activities will be a sort of burden and dull to you so self-interest enthusiasm passion uh, for something that is always important and the negative self-talk always saying that i will be unable to do it i will be unable to do so if you are unable to boost yourself and you are always talking in negative manner and then how you will be able to do things not at all always be positive about yourself and the lack of practice practice is very important if you are not in practice then you will be unable to do it smoothly and the lack of confidence very important confidence come with practice with preparation with experience and with enthusiasm and then practice it is very important that you should visit the room and you should have the environment in your mind the uh, electricity provision uh, whether the technology is, uh, overhead projector or hanging projectors are there 
sound system are there or not so you should at least visit once where you have to uh, present uh, your formal presentation and then it is not about definitely it is not about it is about for focus on your goal do not focus on yourself focus on your goal what you are going to say very important and then audience audience you should focus on audience make them comfortable should you should have a smiley face you should be very relaxed you should, your body posture should be even and rounded and you should should be in very friendly and you should be in very open gestures and you should be interested in your own presentation uh, then you will be able to uh, make the audience to take interest in your presentation becoming confident how to become confident be over prepared again practice it practice it and then rehearse and practice and knowing your subject will lead to to the confidence use relaxing technique breathing and other things and be positive and avoid stressor and then presenting very important in fact look at this uh, gift box even the gift inside it may be uh, not so costly or uh, so costly but the manner of presentation the knotting uh, and all this is very important so presenting something presenting is uh, always you can see lead to to the interest of the audience uh, if you are presenting in well manner that the audience will be taking more interest and the most powerful visual audio aids to the presentation are the words the words are very important your tone your quality of voice lower louder pitch uh, your speed and then energy behind the words the tonal quality uh, the intonation the rise the fall you are using the image is very important the voice body language and the eye contact all are included in this presentation and remember make a strong start the fields are the race are are won by those who are strong in start who are quick in start so if your start is good then you will be able to finish it in the right manner and show your passion for something show your interest be involved in any activity which you are going to uh, practice or which are going to present or which are you going to do and then move on if there is some some uh, lapses some ups and down in anything you have started then do not hesitate do not uh, halt or do not stop for it move on next to the next and next and next and then have a smiley face put a smile in your face you should you should not be in fawning mode be relax and feel other uh, relax uh, engage them uh, how you can engage them through this technique dealing with the question tag technique thank the questioner if someone is questioning or someone is asking something so thank the questioner and then repeat that particular question and then answer the question and check the question questioner if they are he or she is satisfied and then thank again and made the audience feel that they are at very ease and the summary of this lecture is plan prepare practice and present and at the final the end the final impression your end should be very very impressive because this is the last chance for you to have a impression or a sort of impact on the audience and the things which you haven't uh, done in your start this is the final chance this is the last chance so this was uh, the end of my lecture if you had any question you can ask